Hey, hello there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading in Love, March 2019. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Leo, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Ace of Pentacles, Leo. Great card. Earth Energy. Pentacles are also called diamonds and discs. This is a card of money and fortune and trade. It is the suit of the merchants. Earth Energy. This is a gift from the universe. It's new money and new success. It's new opportunity. This is the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty, a seed to be nurtured. You can find inspiration and joy in nature. This is an opportunity for real growth. Could be the beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health. This is a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be a new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home. Begin building the foundation for the future. It would benefit you to spend time in nature. You will find fresh inspiration. Do not overlook this gift. It must be nurtured to come to fruition. Your second card, and these are the energies crossing over your path. The Two of Pentacles, Leo. More Earth energy. This has to do with changes and multitasking. This is the ability to juggle two situations at one time. Your skillful manipulation is going to achieve success. And there's harmony in the midst of the change that's coming good fortune and enjoyment. This can be a message about money. But better times do lie ahead. So adapt to these changes and be playful. You could be dealing with a lot with ease. There's a need to be flexible. So go with the flow by handling the ups and downs of life. Maybe follow the money you may need to travel or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. This is a shift in your life's focus. New facts and new results come to the foreground and present you with a new perspective. You need and you find new results. And when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. Cast off old habits. This could be a change in a financial manner. This is harmony with this change, and you're being flexible enough to keep everything moving. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Ace of Wands, Leo. Fire energy. Fire energy and wands, well, wands, they are also called rods and clubs, represents action and animation, constant renewal and growth, has to do with ideas and create, being creative. It's pure creativity and inspiration. This card can sometimes indicate a conception or a birth. 
This is a new beginning of enterprise in business and arts and finance. This card is high passion in relationships. Ignition. It's now a way out of hard times. Be open for the new. This is a spark of inspiration. It's a gift from life. A positive new beginning. A new opportunity, a seed to be nurtured, like all aces. This is a bright new idea. A burst of creative energy. A source of inspiration and excitement and enthusiasm. And lots of energy for something new. So be courageous. This is new life both literally and metaphorically. So be open for the new. It's a way out of hard times. And your fourth card. It's the future card. The results. The outcome. And the advice. Number six of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but you don't have to be. This is a general reading. This card is about relationship and love. It's a union. Could have to do with a choice, an attraction. There's temptation, also represents sexuality. Sometimes a difficult choice. This is learning and growing through relationships. This is the soulmate card, being meant for each other, a match made in heaven. This card represents the power of a mature sexual union. The angel above them stands for truth and strength found in their relationship. This is an important and usually long-lasting relationship. It has to do with attraction and love and beauty and trials overcome. This is a union of opposites. You balance each other. You could be attracted to another person. The other individual has certain personal and spiritual qualities that may help you find a greater sense of unity within. You may wish to consummate the relationship and merge with the other person. There's clear communication between the couple is necessary if such a union is to take place. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what is unseen. Number four of cups. Water energy. You may be waiting for just the right opportunity to act with these offers, these new opportunities. Feeling some discontent? You need to rest and take some time to withdraw. You do have options and an offer. You're contemplating joy. You're drifting and dreaming before getting back to that daily grind. Maybe feeling some indifference, dissatisfaction, or boredom. You could be daydreaming. This is a withdrawal from an emotional situation. So seek inspiration. You may be tired of a situation. This is an involuntary, I mean a voluntary withdrawal. It's like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. Could be you're tired of a situation. And you're lacking emotional resources to proceed. But the answers and inspiration you need are there for you. Do not sink into apathy. It blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. So pay attention to your dreams and the synchronicities around you. Do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. And now your oracle card from the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. This card is stepping into power because you are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. 
stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you faced are making you stronger. You no, no longer need to live your life for others. Yet if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. And the sacred traveler wants you to know the greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or someone something else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you're afraid of being judged or shunned or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide either to let them go or continue forward with them but on your own terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born out of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. Here's your take note moment. Our words and thoughts have a frequency. They are constantly being released into the universe. That's why the magician reminds us to control our thoughts. The universe responds by bringing our frequency back to us. The law of attraction is impersonal and our conscious, unconscious mind is literal. It is important for what it is important for us to speak strongly about what we want and not to use strong words about what we do not want. Thanks you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up or something. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.